and away we go with another video. How the fuck am I already? Ah ha ha! Hello visuals! Uh, I was about I was about to start, that's why I need to move the light, to start this edition of Pokemon Thursday. Um, I think my fly was undone. I've left the clicky on the floor, but I've left the binder because we're doing uh, the Collectors of Far video. In the other room, we're to go get it. I've come back in, suddenly clicky, and it started! What a great way! 15 seconds, Dad! Keep your audience! Any uh, exposed uh, shenanigans on a Pokemon video? Shame on me or you? Oh, uh, I, I've only done this for Pokemon unboxings. I haven't actually done it on any of the other videos. This is cool as fuck. <laughs> Welcome to Pokemon Thursday, the day of the week, where we talk anything Pokemon from the TCG, from the games, from the anime, from the manga. Pokemon stuff, and uh, we're going to do another collection here, uh, purely because, uh, uh, what's out, uh, when this goes out next week, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield is out, and there will be some kind of review, maybe I'll push this one back an extra week and get a review, review up, it, th this video's out at some point in stage and time in life, cool, wicked. No, I don't only love a good flex on the Superhero Wednesday uh, section of the channel. I love a good flex on Pokemon Thursday where I get to tell you the collection so far. And because this was this was my Hidden Fates set before Hidden Fates come out. This was a set that I absolutely adored and loved. And I kind of didn't get too close to finishing. I kind of... There's a few really important missing holes. Uh, but it's the Hidden Fates. No, it's not. It's Generations. I'm a dick. And Generations, the collection so far. Enjoy, have a beautiful time. Um, fuck it, we'll set up the unboxing table. I've done it again. I'm setting up the camera to get on. <laughs> I've, I've done it again. I've pressed the clicky when I shouldn't have. Ooh, get that away. Uh, when we're doing these now visuals, it's done on the floor, then we can get a better look. I can be right above it. But I think this might work out okay. But yes, we're here to look at my collection of Pokemon Generations so far in this very lovely Pikachu binder. There's Pikachu. There's Pikachu. There's Pikachu. Uh, no, it's a load of nine tails. There's Iron Man's leg. There's a bit of four. A bit of Hulk's toe. Um, yeah, that's it with Pikachu. But yes, this is Generations. It's not complete. We're only missing a handful of cards. I could go and get them, but then... By that time, another set's going. Another set's going. You try. You're always playing catch up with the Pokemon TCG sets. But are you ready to dive into the world of Pokemon Generations? An awesome set when it came out. It was back in the X and Y era. Are you ready? And look straight away. There's a blank hole. That's that's where Mega Venusaur's supposed to go. But do you remember back back in the day when I was a kid, we had EX cards. It was it wasn't that long ago. But we got so uh, Butterfree. We got a Butterfree Hollow right there. I still have a Cement Burn. On to the next page, we should have Charizard and Mega Charizard. So we're missing them two and Mega Venusaur. But we do have the Leafeon uh, EX at the top. I wonder how many times I'm going to say GX instead of EX in this video. Ninetales EX, Blastoise EX, and Mega Blastoise EX. See, the Mega cards, they, they are they fairly are second to none because of that awesome Japanese writing. Uh, I can't remember who goes there. Who went there? It was obviously a water type. We have the full art Articuno. Who the fuck went there? I'll tell you what, the checklist might be in here somewhere. Ah, the checklist is here. I used to always do this with my set visuals. Uh, what did we need? What did we need? What did we need? Uh, Charizard Mega Vaporeon EX. Uh, and of course, you can see some of the other ones that we have. It was mainly the, uh, the hollow energy cards and that other one that we need. Hopefully, I don't give away too much here. Oh, did you go in that way? I could have just kept this bit out of the video, but as per usual, I'm a fucking idiot. And of course, we've got the lovely uh, Hollow Raichu. See, this is another one I could have done for Hidden Fates and changed uh, or, or made sure I got uh, the reverse Hollows of cards, but I didn't. We got the Jolteon, the Full Art Zapdos, and I actually recorded that and one of the got that in one of the very first ever unboxings on the channel visuals. I was so happy, and that video come out so shit. Uh, um, the Machamp. Hollow, the Meowstic EX at the top, the oh the Golem, the very evil Golem Hollow, uh, into the Golem EX right at the top. Hit one Lee and hit one Chan, and of course hit one Lee there is fighting. Oh, we can't even see it. It's fighting. Um, a choke. Hit one Chan, ready for fucking Pagrin. Sleeping Snorlax, uh, Clement. There's no Hollows on this set. Oh, the the uh, uh, Imakuni, the the weird card you'd get in the game that which causes confusion to your to your own Pokemon. 
So this is where we're missing. We're missing the dark, the fighting, the grass, the water energy cards as uh, hollows. They were nice, so I like them energy cards with the, the, the borders in the background. None of the trainer cards were hollow. No, Olympia could have been a hollow. That would have been nice. But the best part, and we're missing the steel and the fairy, the best part about these sets was the radiant collection part these cards are fucking amazing especially with the likes of the the uh the charmander the charmini and the charizard where it tells a story of the boy and his charizard and it's both growing together and eventually ending at this fucking beautiful beautiful charizard card oh my god that is amazing and like the description is unreal the flare on ex we got snow run esper meow stick yvelto hollow jirachi hollow didene hollow Frost Lass Hollow. And into the Sylveon EX, the Altaria Hollow, the Deancey Hollow, the Swirlix, the Floet. But these full art bad boys. The Flareon, the Gardevoir, the, uh, sorry, the Mega Gardevoir. Uh, the Gardevoir, the Pikachu, which isn't an EX or anything like that. It's just a full art. And the Sylveon EX, that Flareon. That Flareon is so cool. I love this set visuals. When they first come out, I remember getting the packets and being so into it. I think this set is absolutely amazing. But yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure all I was missing was them them other cards we had at the start. Even that ghastly, that artwork, artwork, hey, artwork on a ghastly. The artwork for that ghastly is so fucking cool. If you can get my my fat head out of the way and actually let the light hit the card. But there we go, visuals. That was my collection uh, so far. It. If I can, and if I ever remember to, instead of like going for like, I don't know, Cosmic Eclipse or any of the Sun and Moon sets, or even now into the Sword and Shield sets, we'll try and finish this, because I'd love to finish this. We're not that far off it. Uh, the reverse, uh, the, sorry, the Hollow Energies might be a bit of a bad head to get now, because stuff like this always skyrockets, because sold out everywhere, and people stop selling it because they're out of stock immediately. But there we go, visuals. That was Pokemon Generations, the collection so far. Uh, yeah, we'll have to do another one of these sometime soon for Cosmic Eclipse. Obviously, we will. Uh, but, uh, yeah, if you do want another one of these for another X and Y set or anything like that, let me know, visuals. That'd be cool. Uh, we can even do some more of this. Oh, we've, uh, are we done? I think we've done every Sun and Moon, uh, Sun and Moon set that we have, I think. Maybe. Surely. I think so. Anyway, but visuals, if you enjoyed, we'll boost you, boost you. Thank you so much for watching. That was Pokemon Generations. The collection so far. Remember to always keep it you and keep on uh, keeping on. Um... I'm obsessed with this thing. It's been in multiple videos. I do apologize. Are you ready?